get a picture? Bro, do I still have it? You, you do, man. You know? Do I still got it? What's going on, you guys? So as we all know, Tiafimo Lopez is looking like he's heading towards a title fight with Josh Taylor. WBO has now officially mandated them to fight. So to kind of hide the fact that they both ducked who they were supposed to fight, well, the sanction body stepped in to make things right. Hit that like button for your boy. We on Bushido Boxing TV. This is where we are gonna be. But Tiafimo Lopez, he was acting like he wanted to fight Regis Pro, Gray, right? He was saying this, he was saying that. His old man, his father, Tifimo Lopez Sr., was coming out saying all this stuff, right? Then they end up not taking a fight. Regis Pro, Gray reacts, right? And says that Tifimo Lopez is not strong. Check it out. Before we fight, bro, I'll break him. Just before, I wouldn't even have to throw a punch at you. You're going to be broken already. He's not strong. He's weak mentally. So I'll break him. We all saw, the whole world saw, he questioned himself. I know that about you now. You know, if I'm, if I'm like, listen, we, I have to, if we ever fight, I have to look at this man. I have, if, I, if we ever fight, I have to look at this man in his face, in his eyes. I know you question yourself. So already right there, mentally, I know you weak. And I'm, mentally, I'm on another level, bro. I'm not gonna lie, compared to a lot of people in this boxing game, mentally, I'm super strong. Now, to hear what Ruguru had to say, this is something that I, your boy Bushido said once Tiafimo Lopez came out, was on video, on camera, saying, do I still got it? I already knew that this was likely going to be the outcome. Other fighters, other competitors are going to now know in the back of their mind that this guy is weak mentally. That he questioned himself. And not only did he question himself, he questioned himself in front of the whole world to see. So guys who are a little bit more stronger mentally will look at that as a weakness. Look at that as something that they could exploit, right? There's a chink in his armor that has gotten exposed. And now Tiafimo Lopez has to live with that for the next however many years, right? We don't know how things are going to play out in this sport of boxing. We don't know if Tiafimo Lopez can continue on and go undefeated for the rest of his career. Or is he going to take some, some several more losses? We just don't know. But what we do know is that he questioned himself in front of the whole world. Regis Progress said, look, man, I'm one of the strongest dudes mentally in this game. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when I'm standing across from you? What are you going to do when I'm looking in your eyes and, and it's the fourth or fifth round and nothing you're doing is working? What are you going to do? Well, in the back of these guys' mind, they know you're going to eventually break because you question yourself. And this is one of the unspoken i guess you could say is an unspoken rule in fighting a combat sports you just don't you don't want to show no signs of especially in boxing you really don't want to show no signs of, of weaknesses sometimes it can mean everything right when a guy's a little bit more docile a little more passive you know but when he get in that ring it's like a switch turns on he's an absolute machine but other guys you know you might want to kind of some guys want to keep it up, right? But nonetheless, man, Tiafimo Lopez, his, his heart is being tested now. His heart from here on out is going to be tested by everybody he's going to be in the ring with. They, they saw that he could break, you know, mentally. They saw that he pretty much broke down after that fight. And now guys like Regis Progre is looking at chops. Now, Regis Progre may end up facing Jack Catterall. You know, Jack Catterall, he's also upset at the fact that Josh Taylor pulled out of his fight to go fight Tiafimo Lopez. So Jack Catterall said, you know what? Well, how about we fight each other? Let the two ducks go off and fight each other, see who's the biggest duck. So, yeah, that's the latest news in the junior welterweight division. It's pertaining to the top guys in the division, Regis Progre, Tiafimo Lopez, Josh Taylor. But, yeah, Regis Progre comes out and says that Tiafimo Lopez is weak mentally. He is not strong. Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, holler at your boy. Peace out.